morning and welcome to New Jersey. So we arrived in Delaware Water Gap yesterday, walked to the middle of the bridge to the Pennsylvania New Jersey border and then turned right back around and went to um, our hostel for the night. We were originally supposed to arrive there today so we're a day ahead of schedule. Uh, so because of that we didn't want to take uh, two zeros because um, we're zeroing tomorrow. So we decided to make the most of, of the time and do a little bit more hiking today. So we got picked up this morning by a shuttle driver um, who was very kind enough to do it for free. So he shuttled us 14 miles up the trail um, and we're basically going to walk back into Delaware Water Gap from here. So yeah, second time we're going southbound on the trail. We're kind of slack packing ourselves a bit because I left like I left my tent back at the hostel because I tented last night, so I just left it up. Um, I left like my sleeping bag, sleeping mat, clothes, um, all that stuff in there. So all I have in my bag essentially is my bear canister. Um, so hopefully it should be a little bit of an easier day today. We also are avoiding a bigger climb um, that you would normally do going northbound. So instead we have a bigger descent going southbound. But yeah, hopefully we should get these miles uh, knocked out. And then when we head back to the hostel, we're meeting up with our friends um, because we've got a cabin booked for tonight and tomorrow. Um, and it's also really exciting because I've booked for a sports massage. I've never had one before, but I feel like I really, really need it. Uh, so myself and Cold Cut have booked in for a massage tonight. So that's extra motivation to get this, this done early get back, uh, get showered, all that lovely stuff. So yeah, um, first day in New Jersey and we're also going to cross uh, 1300 miles today. So let's do this. from our zero day um, this is just this is just gonna be a very short one um, yeah I don't really know what we're up to today we had 
a nice evening yesterday celebrating Cutie's birthday. Then we watched Point Break afterwards. I'd never seen it before, so that was good. Um, it's about 8 a.m. now, and we're just about to go to Walmart to do our resupply. Um, and then just chill for the rest of the day. We actually ended up rescheduling our massage yesterday to today. So the guy's going to come later in the day to do that. <clears throat> so that's good. Um, Got to do laundry. I think I'll finally be able to buy some permethrin at Walmart and just spray everything that I have. So I haven't been able to do that before just because of where we've been staying and the time it takes to <clears throat> that you have to leave uh, like your tent and clothes drying. Um, so I think I'm definitely gonna definitely gonna do that today. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm just gonna chill, enjoy the day. It's beautiful, um, and yeah, I'll catch you later. morning. Uh, we are currently chilling in our Airbnb. Our friends just got picked up by the shuttle driver because um, they're starting in Delaware Water Gap. But the shuttle driver doesn't have enough space for five people. So she's going to go drop them off and then come back to get us because uh, we're starting 14 miles after since we did that um, since we did that on Sunday. So yeah, we're just uh, just chilling, enjoying modern amenities before we have to go back. Yeah, yesterday was good. We just um... <laughs> oh, hold on. What do you want? I'll let myself out. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yesterday was good. Um, we didn't do much. We resupplied. Just chilled a bunch. I had my massage. It was very relaxing. So yeah, it was just nice to have. A relaxing massage um, just to kind of get all the knots and general aches out so I feel a little bit more fresh than yesterday um, the only thing I'm not looking forward to this week is the weather it is forecasted to be well into the 90s I don't know how we're gonna survive um, unfortunately today we're getting quite a bit of a late start it's 8:45, so who knows what time we'll actually be on trail but I think otherwise we're going to try to do some earlier starts. Um, maybe take a break in the middle of the day and then keep going later on. Especially because it doesn't get dark until quite late. But yeah, so that's the plan. We don't need to average that many miles a day. Uh, we're aiming to be... Um, aiming to be in Warwick, 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 New York on Friday for somebody's birthday. Um, so for that we only have to average about 14 miles a day. So it shouldn't be too bad. Um, yeah. So I'm just gonna chill. I'm gonna eat the remaining snacks that we have left and wait for the shuttle to come get us. to tribute on nature. We have many species of flora and fauna, such as trees and dead trees and mosquitoes. And this guy, this little fat guy, I don't know what it is. If you've got any frog experts in the comments, let us know what he is. I want to poke it. 
Hello, so we made it to the shelter after quite a long time for like 11 miles. We ended up taking quite a long break in the middle of the day just because of the heat. But thankfully the terrain was gentle on us and it wasn't too bad. So yeah, we got here, set up camp. Um, just, it's just so hot, it's just so incredibly hot. Um, I realized over this past week that I basically made a big mistake with these new shorts that I got. Um, so my old ones were getting too, like, loose on me. So I got these from Walmart. Um, but the problem is, because I have bigger thighs, um, a lot of shorts that have that, like, bikini, um, liner don't work for me. Because I need, like... I need actual like sh a shorts liner um, so I got these because they had like an, an actual shorts one underneath but the problem I'm finding is that this one is still slightly too short it's like an inch or two just too short so whenever I like do any sort of movement it just like rides up and then my thighs rub together and there's a whole just chafing situation going on and I've tried to like temporarily remedy it by like luco taping the inside of my thighs, but that becomes quite painful after a while. And like with all the sweating, it just doesn't stick very well either. So, oh, so yeah, I'm kind of a little bit miserable right now because I feel very uncomfortable in what I'm wearing. Um, and I also don't have at the moment these are the only shorts that I have so if I get to camp and like today I was disgustingly sweaty I get to camp the only other thing that I have to change into for bottoms are my thermal bottoms and it's obviously way too hot for that <laughs> so I'm kind of stuck in these shorts that I sort of kind of hate so anyways all of that is to say that I got a little desperate wanting to go back to because we were in Walmart just the other day was it yesterday yeah yesterday morning when we were doing our resupply and I saw some other other shorts that might have been more appropriate but I was just in such a panic because everyone else was like waiting for us to finish um, that I just didn't look at them um, which I regret now um, so I was trying to think of a way to get back to a Walmart Long story short, there's a road crossing like a few miles from where we are now um, and we tried to contact a shuttle driver to see if she would take us in the morning. Um, she wasn't free, but she was so 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 kind and like, made, like she offered us um, to pick up whatever we needed and bring it back to the trailhead and I was like no that doesn't work because I need to actually try on clothes. Um, and she was offering all these alternatives for us. I think eventually we settled on her picking us up from a road crossing in about 12 miles. Um, and she would pick us there, pick us up there after she finishes work tomorrow. Um, around like four. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to try to get to that road crossing, have her pick us up, take us to a Walmart. I'm going to get new shorts. We come back to trail and then we have like two three miles to do um after that so fingers crossed it works out um even if it doesn't she has been super kind um so i really really appreciate it um and yeah it's just annoying these kind of situations um when you like kind of need something but it's awkward to get and i need them like right now so i can't really like order anything and have it shipped I don't even know where we would ship it to because at the moment we're in kind of a 
a dry spot for the foreseeable future. There's no like hostels until Vermont. <laughs> so it's gonna be a while um, if we wanna have things sent to us conveniently. Like even Tribute had to order a new um, pump for his sleeping mat because his just broke all of a sudden. Um, and they said they would send him a new one but he, we're having it sent to my parents' house first because we don't know how long it's gonna take to send it and where we would send it to. So we're sending it to my parents and then once it gets there, we'll figure out where we can actually get it sent to so he can, he can get it. Yeah, so that's the situation. Um, I'm just worried about how I'm gonna be able to sleep tonight because it's so hot. I've got like both my doors open. So I've got them open on both sides. I was hoping there would be like a little breeze, but nothing. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get to bed now. Um, and yeah, we'll see how tomorrow goes. Catch you later. far too long but now I'm on my way back home I hear the west winds calling I'm a name they're telling me to head your way down your road and past your gates keep your eyes on the horizon I was looking to belong when I'd already found For the setting sun For you to fall into my arms The place I call my home I was looking to belong When I already found my hand the run down this land where the ocean lands it's the tallest sound the damn smallest crowd but their hearts break loud far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards the land and sea Cry. The heat goes bit wide. We're 
with a desperate light Far from ever feeling lost with me I'll push you back towards Atlantis sea They're going down for love and love is free Stick with me and I will guarantee You'll never last among the crowd with me Hello, long time no speak. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't record anything yesterday. I think it was partially because we were hiking with someone else all day and I just feel weird about like whipping out a camera. Um, but also, yesterday was just like a such a jam-packed day that I just kept forgetting. Um, so yeah, it was really productive. We ended up doing like 19 miles in the end, but we, <laughs> we took so many breaks. Um, and they were all so, like, eventful and, like, distinctive in their own ways. So I think by the time we, like, the first half of the day, by, like, 3.30, we'd taken, like, four breaks. Um, and we'd gotten some trail magic after the news cameras came. Uh, we waited around, like, an hour for trail magic to come. Um, and yeah, then we got picked up and got taken to Walmart by the loveliest trail angel of all trail angels. Johnny, if you're watching this, you saved my day. <laughs> you saved my week. Um, yeah, Johnny picked us up, took us to the good Walmart, um, and then she gave us a tour of uh, High Point State Park, and that was really nice. And yeah, I think she's just uh, a great example of the spirit of, of trail magic and trail angels and like just a testament to the idea that you can't do this alone like nobody can do this alone like yes I am walking on my own two feet and all that stuff but there's so many aspects of this hike where you rely on other people and that was definitely the case yesterday um, yeah she just came at the perfect time and um, yeah, it was really great. We really, we really enjoyed spending time with her, um, getting shuttled around and stuff. And then we got back on trail, and we did a few more miles than we thought we were going to do. Um, to get to a really nice camp spot for the night, we cowboy camped under the stars. So that was really lovely. And then we decided we wanted to wake up this morning to see the sunrise. And I didn't realize today is actually the solstice, so we got to see the solstice sunrise today. Uh, currently, we are in Unionville, New York, just across the border from New Jersey. So we hiked about seven and a half miles this morning. We got in at nine o'clock, <laughs> and we've just been sat around this whole time. I think it's like, oh, what, 11.30? Um, and it's just, oh my god, it's so unbearably hot. Like, I don't want to move, I don't want to do anything. But also, we only have five miles to go today to the next shelter, so we really aren't in any rush at all uh, which definitely helps like we're sat in this little like pavilion area but even just crossing the street from the general store was like unbearable heat and that's obviously not going to let up anytime soon so we're just chilling uh, the ultimate plan is to get to Warwick New York tomorrow evening so I think tomorrow will involve doing like a 12 13 mile day um, because we are going to camp, hopefully, if the weather still holds out, we're going to camp at a drive-in movie theater um, for Tribute's birthday. So yeah, fingers crossed that the the rain stays away for, for us and we can have a, a great way of celebrating his birthday. So yeah, that's why we're really in no particular rush, because um, we just have to be about 17, 18 miles away by the end of tomorrow. And also, it's just really hot, and I don't want to move, and 
everything feels gross and sweaty. But at least I got to take a shower yesterday, so. Do you have anything you want to say? No? Okay. I think we're gonna try to take a nap. I was about to fall asleep and then I got distracted, but yeah. So I'm gonna take a nap. Um, I think we're currently waiting on Pacer and Cold Cut to catch up with us, maybe. Um, and then hopefully we can all go to the shelter tonight together. But yeah, we'll see. Okay. So, I don't know. Yesterday was really lovely. I think it was probably my favorite day on trail so far. Um, and I know Tribute has said that as well. So, yeah, it was really special. Really enjoyed it. And uh, I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay, quick update. Um, so Cutie, Tribute, and I were in such a state of like heat, exhaustion, and delirium that Cutie noticed a woman in her backyard <laughs> swimming in her pool. And he picked up the courage to ask her if we could just go swimming in her pool. He did offer to pay her like five dollars, but she said, "Don't worry about it." Um, so yeah, we went and we got in her pool, and like we were there for a few minutes, and Cold Cut and Pacer showed up. So eventually, this woman just had like five hikers swimming around in her pool, uh, but it was so refreshing, and I'm so thankful to her for that. So, oh, this town is really, really nice. Um, if you're ever on trail and you find yourself near Unionville, New York definitely stop by. They are very hiker friendly. So yeah, the guys just turned up. Um, I think they've had a really long morning and are looking for a break and I don't blame them. So I think we're all about to grab some food and we're not looking to leave until like at least five or six o'clock once it starts to cool down again. And we only have about five miles to the shelter. So it's not that big of a deal anyways, but yeah. That, that swim was definitely needed. And I'm drying off already. It's only been like 20 minutes. Um, and I'm already dry just because of how, how hot it is. So yeah. Uh, Tribute's getting us some pizza. So I can't wait to eat that. And the ice cream place opens up in like an hour and a half. So I will definitely be stopping by there. So yeah, um, making the most of, of this heat. I just can't believe we've been in this town for like, six hours <laughs> but uh we've definitely uh definitely put some money into the economy here so i'm enjoying it catch you later you'll never last among the crowd with me Never last among the crowd with me Everywhere you go I'll be Anywhere you go I'll see Good morning. It is about 6.45 right now and we have hit the trail. Yeah, it's another hot day today, so not, not much has changed there. It's still about a high of like low to mid 90s, but I think at some point, especially in the middle of the day, it's meant to feel like almost 100 degrees. So whew, good luck to us. Um, yeah, but we got to make miles today because we have somewhere to be. So not many miles. We have 12 miles to get to the drive-in theater where we will all celebrate Tribute's birthday. Um, so everybody say happy birthday to Tribute. What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's his birthday. I hope he has a great day. I hope we can make it special and that the thunder doesn't completely ruin the day. Um, the weather forecast has been kind of uh, changing a lot the past few days. Um, it may rain, it may thunder, who really knows. 
So fingers crossed that it's not that bad and we can still go and enjoy a movie. Otherwise, I don't really know what we're going to do because the shelter spots are really awkwardly placed. Yeah, anyways. So, I just hope, let's, uh, hope we can make it a nice day for him. Hello, good morning. It is about 10 o'clock and we are just leaving Warwick, New York. Um, yeah, I had a pretty good night yesterday with the exception of missing like the last 15 minutes of the movie because of the rain. But yeah, other than that, it was a, a lovely experience and a great day. The plan today is to do 10 miles to a hotel that we're going to split with our friends. Um, yeah, only 10 miles, so hopefully it shouldn't be too bad, but we will have to be hiking in the middle of the day. Um, yesterday was a little rough with that stairway to heaven climb, but yeah, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to push myself too much. So even if we only did about 12 yesterday, 10 today, still, still pretty good going. This, this heat wave has just been so bad. I don't see realistically how we could get away with, you know, cranking out 20s. Um, it just seems like a, a really bad idea. Um, I think we're all just tired, not from hiking, because yeah, we haven't been doing very long days but just the heat 
is really getting to us all. Um, so I'm looking forward to actually getting some rest in a hotel, getting our laundry done, all that stuff. So today we are finishing New Jersey, which is very exciting. Tribute and I were just talking and saying that we actually really, really enjoyed New Jersey. Um, I think it had really beautiful views, actually. Really interesting um, natural features, and you got to see lots of animals. And yeah, it was a, a really pleasant surprise. Lovely people. Um, but yeah, so we're about three miles from the, the New York border. Although we've already technically popped into New York, um, but trail-wise, we will be in New York in about three miles. So, yeah, I'm glad Tribute had a nice birthday, or I hope he had a nice birthday. Um, and yeah, I can't wait to get some rest tonight. And uh, I'll fill you in in the next video as to what our next plans are. So yeah, I'm gonna keep hiking. It's already too hot. Um, so I, ju I just want this day to be over with and I can get into some air conditioning. So I'll catch you later, bye. Realize I like doing it all with you. Take my hand, twirl me around. Hold me close. Don't ever put me down Every time I look at you You're looking back at me, my dear When you are around Everything seems crystal clear I've been Okay, quick, quick update. Um, I've just spent like the last 10 minutes crying. I think being on day five of this heat wave is uh, its finally getting to me. I finally cracked. Yeah, it's just oh, so incredibly hot and humid. And basically as soon as you walked into New York, it was just rock scramble after rock scramble. Some of which I'm too short to be able to do comfortably. So I was just exerting myself more than usual, but because I had to, to be able to get up and over these rocks. So I was just, uh, I was really slowing down. I felt really bad. I'm, I was making us both take much longer than usual. Um, I think it's almost three o'clock right now. We started at 10 and I was so miserable to the point where we were gonna bail out here, which is about seven and a half miles into the day. Um, and there's a Blue Blaze Trail that goes down into the town of Greenwood Lake. But um, unbeknownst to us until we got to the head of the, the Blue Blaze is that it drops very, very steeply into town. Um, and I just, as much as I want to be done right now, um, I also didn't want to have to come back up that hill tomorrow. I think it's about just over a mile and it's quite a lot of elevation change for, for this weather. And so yeah, it was either, um, I think that to, the, to town and then we had to walk across town to get to the hotel or we walk two miles further up trail um, where there's a, a road crossing and we can get picked up. So we've had to do a quick little change of plans um, because I feel, I feel absolutely disgusting. And we were meant to share a hotel room with our friends, but I think the thought of like five people being cramped in one room, I just, at the moment, I just need my own space. Um, I need my own space to like take a nap and decompress and I don't feel like being particularly social right now for the rest of the night. <laughs> um, 
So we ended up calling another hostel because the hotel was all full anyways. So we've called another hostel that's actually next door um, to the hotel um, and they're going to be able to pick us up from that road crossing in an hour. Um, so we'll knock those two miles out of the way and then we'll still be able to get picked up so we don't actually have to walk through town. So that was my motivation um, after I had my little cry. I think she's going to go pick us up at the ice cream place, she said. Yeah. It's so, at the same distance as the road crossing, but there's ice cream. Yeah. So we're getting picked up at an ice cream place, which is even further motivation. So <sighs> had some more water, um, had a little break. <sighs> and uh, yeah, let's do this. Hello, I'm alive. The heat didn't get to me. Um, well, I mean, it did because I cried, but yeah. Um, we got down to the road and we managed to get picked up and brought to the hostel. And it's very, very nice here. I immediately had a shower and they actually um, did our laundry for us, which is always convenient because uh, then you don't have to bother with, with wasting time with that. Got some pretty fresh loner clothes. And then we actually had a nap for about an hour. Um, yeah, went out to eat, all that stuff. Um, and now we're just, just chilling, trying to figure out what to do for the next few days. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah, it's been a, it's been a tough week with this heat. Um, I think I was doing all right in the beginning, and then I think as the days went on, it just got harder and harder, but yeah, um, this week I guess I'm, I'm thankful for the green tunnel, even if people complain about how it's a little boring just being in the forest all the time, but it really, really makes a difference with the temperature, so I'm thankful for that, I'm thankful for good friends. I'm thankful for tribute. I'm thankful for air conditioning and cold drinks and ice cream. And yeah, just the simple things that keep you alive when uh, it's really hard to, to keep walking. So yeah, I guess that's the, the end of this video. And I will see you next time from whatever state we're going to be in. Don't know if we'll still be in New York or Connecticut, but yeah. So I'm going to chill now. Oh, I also bought, bought a, ugh, where is it? I bought a face mask. So I'm just going to pamper myself a little bit. Face mask, Dunkin' drink, and go to sleep. So I will catch you later. Bye.